Hey there, YouTubers. This is Ed from Tech Talk, here to show you how to use the OpenShot Video Editor. Really easy, simple program to use to um, merge your videos or your photos. Um, if you missed it, go ahead and watch my how to download and install both OpenShot and Blender. Um, the description will be in the uh, link will be in the description below. And I will also have a link to it at the end of the video. You're going to want to stick around because I'm going to offer some tips that many open shot video creators don't tell you. But I'm going to do just that today. So stick around and let me show you how to get this baby done. It's easy and simple. All right, so the first thing you do, obviously, is open up OpenShot. Um, and this is pretty much what you're going to see. You should see five tracks. Um, you can click on these little buttons here and drag up. And you can drag over here if you want, whichever. Um, if you can't see all five tracks, that's fine. Um, you probably have a smaller um, monitor. But if you can't see, that's fine. Go ahead and click over here on one of the tracks that you can see and just hit remove track and as you remove tracks it'll just renumber them no big deal we don't for this video this is going to be a simple quick video i am going to create one that's more in depth that's going to give you more tips and tricks um that you're not going to want to miss because i'm i assure you most people do not tell you this um so just stick with me if you don't mind um i'm may not be the best at uh, making videos, but um, I, I do have some valuable information here that I think is going to help you. The first tip is going to come right after I'm done showing you how to manipulate this. So if you don't like this view, you can change it. And so, for example, each one of these up in the top, you can you can click and move and you can drag them down or over or you can do you can throw them all over the place. And the reason why I did it just the way I did it is because you can, if you mess it up, just click view, click views and simple view and boom, you're right back to square one. So you don't have to worry about messing it up. So what some people like to do is they like to click up the top here and drag down until this shows up like this. And then we can take this, click here and just drag it down here. And we can drag this one up a little bit so that we can see the two tracks we want to work with. And voila, you have a pretty decent setup. Um, you don't have to keep it like that. You can just go back to the regular traditional view. Up here we have the effects and we have transitions. Transitions are pretty nice. Um, the effects are easy to use. I'm, I don't know if that I'm going to get into the effects um, on this one. But my next video, which will be coming up pretty soon... I'm going to show you how to use chroma keys and, um, you know, I may actually show you how to crop in this one just to do it. But um, you're going to want to see my next video that, where I offer some more tips. So um, once you have this view, I mean, like I said, you can you can manipulate it, change it around. If you want to see more screen over here, that's that's great. Um, if you want to take a snapshot, um, this is what this is for here. Uh, you can uh, this will actually close it so that you can just go ahead and um, open it back up video preview but not really sure whether this is like minimizing it or what exactly it's doing to it but um, nice thing is you always got that return back to simple view all right so let's let's just import some files real quick and there's three ways to import you can right click here and import files which will be the same as if you click here this little plus up here and you can import files here i'm going to go to desktop then i go to herbert here and we're working with my sister's uh or yeah my sister's my daughter's dog um herbert who owns their house pretty much and what you're going to do is you can't you can't do this you can't drag you'll see the little circle there you can't do that you have to hit open when you're in here so you can click open and that's one way to drag in do it or you can pull this down here you can highlight all of these 
and move it over a little bit and then just drag it and drop it and this is the first hot tip of the day so when you're working with certain images in this case the jpeg that i'm working with i don't know what's going to happen if you do it but if i click yes open shot's going to crash right now so just to show you i'm going to hit yes to import them and boom it crashed so not really sure why or what's causing it but that's the first tip i thought i'd give you um the second tip i'm going to hit okay to recover so the second tip is that um you can just hit no if you ever get anything like that just hit no to the question and it won't crash so i'm going to drag this in here now right into the projects file i'm going to hit no to every one of these lots of pictures it's kind of a pain if you um if you have uh multiple pictures but anyways um here we go we got herbert right just tell me what you think about herbert i mean he's, you can tell he owns the place but anyways um so i'm just going to close properties for now we don't need that open um now another tip is that if you right click in here so if you don't have them all across here um, when you have so many you're still going to have to scroll anyways but you can right click here and if you click detail view you're going to some of you may have this in a list like this and that's probably not what you want so go ahead and right click and go ahead and hit thumbnail view and then they'll all be right across here like this and you can scroll down a little bit so you can see them all if you want and scroll this one up it's up to you um alternatively you can go back to um the simple view and have them all right there as well so whatever whatever makes you happy um so here we are we got we got herbie here and we're gonna there's a couple of ways where you can do this so the easiest way so if you're just looking to cr put this together real quick the easiest way is just to go ahead and select one do control a select them all and once they're all selected right click and add to timeline so then you're going to see this wonderful looking thing right here and there's multiple things you can do in here um one you can pick the track that you want to go to for example you can pick one you can click if you want to add a fade a zoom a transition and you can test them all um so let's say you don't like the the location of, of an image you can hit the up button select it and hit the up button um or you can hit the down button move one down that's up to you um can click it a couple times and move it anywhere you want if you don't like one you can click on it and you can hit the minus button and delete it so the next thing is going and adding your fade your zoom your transition so let's just test a few of them um your first well no i won't show you that tip yet but there's another tip coming up that i'm going to show you um, and I'm sure everybody will make it, but there, there's an easy way to get around it. So, um, and it's not really a horrible mistake. So, but just helpful. Um, so, all right, so let's just, um, let's go ahead and add just a basic fade to this. Um, we're going to do fade in. Um, I'm going to lower it from 10 seconds to five seconds and then i'm just going to click ok and this will add every single one of those into the timeline and now if we play it'll give you the little preview up here and that's kind of what it looks like um you can you can change um you can change the size of the pictures the length of time you can so let's do this let's move this back 
and let's do let's click on one of these and go control a and either hit delete or just right click in the middle of here and remove clip that'll remove every single one of them so let's go ahead back up here where all these are highlighted we're going to right click again and we're going to add the timeline and we're going to get another shot at this so maybe we didn't like the, the just the regular fade or the the eight seconds so let's leave it 10 seconds well I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it to 8 seconds just because, just for for speed, it'll be a little quicker. I know it's a couple of seconds shorter. but So then we're going to go and we're just going to add a, a random zoom. And we will do, um, let's do a fade in and out. And then click OK. Let's see what that looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and hit play again. <clears throat> and then we'll just see so as you can see the zoom kind of adds a little bit to it so I mean if this is something you you like um, you know you notice in here though <clears throat> a lot of these images have black borders to them which is not a big deal but if you don't want the black borders um, you would have to edit each picture individually first before you went and did this. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm not going to do it to a lot of them, but I'll show you because uh, my next video is going to go get a little bit more in depth of that, but I will show you. <clears throat> but that's kind of what it looks like. So the next thing is to um, add the... So let's go ahead and... Um, Put this to the beginning and let's um so let's just go ahead and hit control a and then we're going to hit delete again and i'm just going to close the properties for now i'll get it out of the way <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do the add to timeline again and um we're going to put it to one and this time we're going to add a transition so um Let's just pick big bar shaking. I never used that one, so let's just try it just for the fun of it. Oops. I hit the escape button, and that was not what I wanted to do. But that's uh, when you hit add to timeline. I guess if you hit escape button, that will close it for you. So you learn something new every day. If you're looking for the shortcuts, you could go into here, edit <clears throat> preferences. If you like shortcuts, um, the keyboard shortcuts are in here. So you, you can go in and learn all of these if you want. But <clears throat> so let's go ahead and add the timeline again. And I'm going to go ahead and put this to 8. And I'm going to add a transition. Um, we're going to do the uh, big bar shaking. And I don't know, let's just do a regular fade in and out. And then we're going to click OK. <clears throat> so basically, you can just play around with this. And now you'll see that it added all the transitions. Now, these are the transitions here. Um, so let's go ahead and hit play just to see what it looks like. So now it's just adding just a, a nice little bar effect. And you can you can do a different effect on each one if you want so literally if you want to um, you can just uh, now if you if that's all you wanted to do um, you can go ahead and just um, click over here now this is another tip so we're here don't don't jump the gun and say oh I want to add a title because if you so we can we can go ahead and add a title. So let's just um, let's just find something. Let's just click on this one here <clears throat> and just call it uh, something. We'll call it Herbert. How's that sound? Since how is it Herbert Herbert show? Let's just say Herbert, and you can change the text color all you want. Um, and then that's kind of intuitive. So so click save. So now. We got to go back to project files. You'll notice up here there's images, audios, videos, and show all. So if you click show all, you'll have it in here. So um, 
we can drag this into the timeline here and you're going to see that you can't see it so and you still can't see it well that's because um technically we need to right click on here and we need to add track above and then we're going to drag this up here and then we are going to click on this one and we're going to delete this one so we're going to remove this track now we have one two and you can see herbers herbie's right there and we're going to go ahead and click play and you can shorten it lengthen it whatever you want <clears throat> you can keep uh you can actually select a different um different one if you want you can you can write anything just about you want in there i'm going to go ahead and remove clip you can go up here and hit um title go into title here and let's scroll down and do um let's just do the smoky one and hit save <coughs> you can change the the lettering to whatever you want i'm going to drag it down here again and I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to hit play. <clears throat> and then, so the cool thing about, so I'm going to give you another one. So, so that's kind of it. I mean, you, that's um, the simple way to add it. You can mess with the different transitions. Um, you can add different, you can manually, if you want to, um, if you want to add a different transition in between you can select each transition that's something you're gonna to have to mess with but if you want to remove the transition remove the transition and you wanted to add the transition I'll give you even though I was gonna wait until the next video to show you this click on the transition tab and go ahead and drag the transition down here and with it still highlighted go over here to the end of the transition and, and just sle select it and drag it over so that it's if you have trouble you can zoom in so you the zoom in you just grab and hold this right here and zoom in on until you can um see the one that you're looking to mess with and so this is the one that we just added um you can make it about the same size as the other one so now let's hit play and see what it looks like so that's a different transition you can do different ones so we can delete this one remove it and then let's uh let's throw this one in here um where were we right here so let's go ahead and throw that one once again click click the right end of it drag it wherever you want you can make the transitions end and start wherever you want um and then we're going to go ahead and click over here and we're going to hit play so that's the transition there so one hot tip i'm going to give you with transitions so you see how this is circular here the this one this track here goes under this track here you never want to take and drag a transition to the middle here so let's see what that looks like when you do that we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and hit play now you did you see the flicker of black that's gonna happen every time you do that until the transition it actually gets the, the where the transition's supposed to be it's going to be black so you want to make sure you lock that in right there you see the blue line showing that's how you can tell that the transition should be in the right spot and now we got a nice transition again now reverse that if you pull this out here and you let's just let's just make it easy to see if you drop it right here and you hit play transition is going to come in a little too late so it's going to look kind of goofy it's going to show the picture and then do a transition which isn't really a transition <laughs> so you just got to um keep so if we zoom this back in where we had it um you'll see that it's a little bit more difficult to tell that you have it off um, but that's what that nice blue line you see how the blue line locked it in i have a feeling i don't know if, if we've removed the blue line now yeah if we remove it it'll, it'll still 
but it doesn't doesn't snap in like it, it does so if you hit this and then you go like this um it tends to snap in a little bit better but anyways it's something you have to play around something you have to keep an eye on because it's easy to create those little black voids wouldn't be the first time that i went through and i connected a whole bunch of them real quick and then didn't realize that i'd have them touching close enough the next way of doing adding these files is to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and control a i'm going to select them all again i'm going to delete them all so you can manually add all of these so i'm going to go back to project file i'm going to click show all so we have everything here and i'm going to show you one thing before i do this i'm going to add files I'm not going to do any changes. I'm just going to add the files and I'm going to click OK. Now, anybody see a problem? There, the timeline starts here. I have imported here. That's not that big of a deal. You can do Control A and select them all and slide them all over and then let go. So you can easily fix it. Um, so as you can see, I right click and I imported them all with no no add-ons and you can pretty much run with it just like that um, it's as easy as that you don't have to you don't have to do anything to it the next thing you can do is I'm gonna delete them all you can drag one at a time so you can say okay I want this one first I'm gonna put it here um, make sure you don't put it here don't put it too far away because then you're once again you're going to have that black screen so you want to make sure you have it all the way over and then um you can take and add your next one and see the blue line it's locked in there um if this wasn't um done it would easily you would still get the blue line but it doesn't um it doesn't it doesn't uh stick stick right there um, you'll know when you got the magnet tool on it's highlighted you can see it um, and boom there you go if you didn't want this as long as it is you can just click here and you can delete it now we got to click it again to uncheck it select here and remove clip if you wanted to split this in half you could actually go like this right click on the blue slice all and you can say keep both sides or you can just keep left side or keep right side so let's keep left side now I'm gonna move this over you notice that they're crossing each other because you can see the one video behind and that's what I mean by um, you know if you so I'm gonna go ahead and move this close to it um, and then I'm gonna zoom I'm gonna zoom in just to see what this looks like at a close-up so now you see the black behind here you don't see the um, you don't see the other picture behind it so those are some things that you just got to keep an eye on when you're doing it so we can just create the transition by overlapping and boom now you got the default fade transition so here we can click here and then we can hit play and that's just a default tra fade transition. You can um, increase the tr fade side by dragging it right. Don't ever drag it left because you'll get that black screen. So, so that's just a basic transition. So the next thing you can do is um, just pay attention to um, the same thing as before. You don't want to. So I'm going to zoom in. Oops. I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to move this here. I'm going to uncheck the magnet. And I'm going to put that right there. So now, if you accidentally uncheck the magnet, you may end up with, let me just put this, um, let me select this. And I'm going to delete the transition here. And I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, it flickered again because 
we once again have, if we zoom in, you're going to see that there's actually a space between here. So that's kind of the hot tip here is that just pay attention to where you're positioning these and make sure that you get them um, right up next to each other. I'm going to re reconnect the magnet. The magnet's highlighted. You can see that it's highlighted, and then we're just going to, boom, there it is, and it'll piece right together. So we're going to drag this back to the beginning. Um, I'll zoom back out here so it's smaller. And you can just keep going. Just keep adding your, and you can, like I said, you can, you can um, overlap it, and you can right-click. You can highlight the... the the transition right click and you can remove the transition and you can go ahead and click on the transitions tab and just drag in a transition one at a time in whatever way you want to do it you can also click here you can reverse transitions you can re, um, go to transition properties um, and then we can go ahead and just drag one at a time keep dragging them in on, and then manually adding the transitions you'll have to over overlap because if you take this like this another hot tip you can't just um, if you take a transition in and you just let's just dump this one here and then move this let's try to move it over I guess we don't want to go too far well, right there so so if you drop it right there, so let's go ahead and um, click right here in the time the timeline, and go ahead and hit play. You get the black, 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 and then the transition comes in, and then him. So you don't want to. You want to make sure once again. You want to make sure this transition is on this side, and you want to make sure. So even if you put the transition here, you're still going to be. You're going to get a black in here. See, you get the black before you get into your transition. So um, the transition looks cool. But so if you ever do that, you can just move the transition out of the way. Left click. Everything's left click and drag. So even these up here, you left click, drag. Um, I probably didn't say that, but um, just overlap. Click, click the transition, right click, remove the transition. Now drag your other transition back in here. Um, you can most likely, I believe, go in and change your default transition if you want, I believe. But um, I'm going to mess around with more settings and stuff in the um, the next video. But that's pretty much it. You just keep you keep adding your, your files and your transitions. And, and probably the easiest thing to do, um, if you wanted to expedite things a little bit, you could um, go ahead and right-click, add the timeline, and then just hit OK with the basic settings. And we're going to have to hit Control A and then drag them all to the left because I, I didn't, uh, I broke my own golden rule already. So um, here, and then you can just drag them all to the left if you want and add your timelines one at a time that might be the easiest way to do it so you for example you can just remove timeline or transition go here and drag this transition um, right here let's remove this transition so it makes it easier and then we can click here um, remove the transition and go right here add this baby and then you can just keep going on down the line um, the second thing is you can also click right click in the beginning of this and you can add a fade um, you can do the start of the clip or you can do the end of clip fade out um, entire clip you can fade in and out so um, in this case we're going to fade in because it's the beginning and then the rest will all have transitions, so I don't know that you would need it, but you can. Um, the next thing is that you can also, um, you know, animate, you know, start a clip. You can do the um, center to top. You can do all the zooming right here, animate, start of clip. You can zoom, center to edge, uh, edge to center. 
um, do random. Um, but that's kind of the same as the other that we were doing. So for the last uh, bit, I'm just going to show you if I have it in here. I'm not sure if I do, but let me check to see if I got music and then I'll show you how to add it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, an actual video that has sound to it just so, so I can show you just in case you have a video that you want to remove the sound from. Um, you can easily do that in OpenShot, which is great. Um, so I'm just going to drag a uh, file in here. And I'm just going to drag it right into the time. I'm going to dra drag it right into the track. Um, and I'm going to move it over here. And now when we go back to the beginning, um, you're going to hear probably uh, an annoying waterfall. If you have sound in something and you don't want it, just right click and go to separate audio single clip and then at some point you should see a file in here that looks like it's a um, a music file so now you see the uh, music file itself just so you can see it i'm going to right click i'm going to add um actually you know what i'm going to right click add a track below and now you see one is down here. So I'm going to click on this one that looks all fuzzy and I'm going to drag it down here. So now we have the video up here and we have the audio down here. So now I'm just going to right click and I'm going to remove clip. Now if we play, you're going to see, um, now if you wanted to, you could actually substitute this um, waterfall looking thing for a picture because you see how this is all short you could actually add a um an image behind there that's um maybe all white or all brown whatever you want to do um you can you can mess around but that's more advanced stuff so I, i'll get into that stuff later but um you can also add me so let me minimize this a little bit so if we can see if we can drag a, a nice little audio file in here <clears throat> let's see let's drag this one in I think I just drag it in there you go drop that baby right there you could drop it in the project file so you have it too um, I could have just as easily dropped it here but so now um, we have an audio file so let's go ahead and So let's just go ahead and hit play and see what it sounds like. So as you can see, you can see the um, image of the, the music in the background. So what I think we need to do is right click, separate audio, single clip. And then we're going to drag this up here. And this time we're going to keep the audio. We don't want to delete the audio. This time we want to come down here and we want to delete the image. So we're going to click on the image, remove. And All right, let's go ahead and try to play it now. catch that little flicker there so that's one of the reasons why we watch our video so that we, we can go back and look and say hey what's going on here why is it flickering so let's see let's see what's causing um, the flicker here all right so maybe the transition was off but well I guess as you can see there's uh I forgot I didn't put I didn't finish this so that's kind of what it's going to look like so but that's pretty much it for this video I think um you pretty much got an idea of how it works um if you want you can go ahead and add your your title in there um whichever title you want to add um I'll go ahead and add this one just because and I'll just show you real quick go to properties um or Herbert properties and we can go down to um, 
let's see, location Y and X. So we can actually change the location of Herbert if we want to. Um, we can move it off and then we can move it up or down. Um, we, you could have actually changed the color. So I'm, because it's, uh, I'll move it right there just because um, this is all white here. If we move it down, you're not going to see it. But this is just to give you an idea of what you can do. You can check, change the location Y and X and then go ahead and hit play and try it out. And you can add um, more. You can add more titles in here. Um, you know, if you're doing a vacation one, you can say, oh, you each slide you can label with a title um, where it's at what it is whatever you know you can add a bunch of different ones and just like anything else you can change the size of your or the length of these Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer. And uh, hopefully you watch my next video. All right. Thanks for watching, and please like, su subscribe, and hit that bell, most of all, so you can uh, get alerted when I create a new video. Thanks.